Uh, next one we have in is a uh, 95-4 and uh, another crossbred gilt promotion uh, back on a Saved by Grace, little bro. And, and, and that uh, gilt was exhibited there by the D-Bulls. And glad to get that particular sow, in, you know, in the mix and in terms of getting her into production because it looks like it's going to be fun uh, moving forward. And, and a gilt we like as well. She's probably going to be more of a middleweight um, come first part of August. Uh, but we think she's got the extras to be very, very competitive. Man, that thing is dirty good from the side. I mean, her jawline is is near ideal. Uh, her head and neck attachment into a big chest and a bold blade uh, with a rib cage that's that's just ideal at this particular size and weight. And her hind leg is big and fat with with, with huge toes. Um, you know, don't miss this one because her sister's uh, good. They're they're all good in this particular litter. Yeah, you know, this one here. If it wasn't for the the mate that we've we've been wowing over, you'd be wowing over this one because uh, all I just put down same as above on my notes. I mean, she's built just like the litter mate. She's a few pounds lighter. Her athleticism is really good. Uh, um, man, her, she's tall fronted. She's level uh, level made down her top. She reaches off her hind leg good with uh, an abundance of muscle in a green type of fashion. Uh, uh, heavy bone kind of a hog that has uh, again just comfort level. Man, those hogs. I mean. That one could look so killer as a, even a, a, a big, uh, uh, a big breeding guild even on down through late in the fall. I mean that one's got uh, that one's got a lot of mileage in her to to do a whole lot of things too. That's a very good litter. That is 95-4 female.